It's Sunday, April 10th, 2022, Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw Streets in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here once again with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Sunday is going well. It is, as I said, Palm Sunday. And we invite you to join us for worship here this morning as First Congregational Church gathers at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw Streets, and we hope you can join us in person. If you can't join us in person, you can connect right here on Facebook with us. As we've been doing throughout the Lenten season, we lay aside our Lenten devotions on Sundays because Sunday is a day of grace, and we return this morning to the book Truth for Life. It's written by Pastor Alistair Begg, copyright 2021, The Good Book Company. Zechariah, chapter 9, verses 9 and 10. Behold, your king is coming to you, righteous and having salvation is he, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem and the battle bow shall be cut off and he shall speak peace to the nations. His rule shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The procession that led to Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem was marked by drama. Many times in the Gospels, Jesus and the disciples had gone off on their own, away from the crowd as quietly and secretively as possible. It would have been possible for Jesus to have entered the city inconspicuously. Instead, he purposefully determined to approach Jerusalem in a fashion that declared him to be the Messiah King, long promised in Scripture. The people's concept of what it meant for him to be the king of the Jews, however, was so skewed that they misunderstood who Jesus was showing himself to be. The people had previously tried to make Jesus a king by force, but he had slipped away from them. That's recorded in John chapter 6. He knew that what they thought a king was going to do was not what he had come to do. Their heads were in the wrong place. The same was true when it was suggested that he was involved in some kind of political revolution. To this he replied, my kingdom is not of this world, John 18, 36. In the triumphal entry, the crowd's chants had been filled with passion, expectation, and confusion. They did not want to live under Roman subjugation. They wanted national restoration and political revolution. They needed a political champion, and Jesus was their best hope. They were, it seems, trusting that Jesus would deliver to them something he never came to deliver. When the crowd shouted, Hosanna, which means save us, they were not thinking about personal spiritual salvation. They were thinking about the here and now. Unless we keep the gospel at the center of our thinking, we might also fall foul of similar passionate, hopeful confusion. Even today, many of us continue to create a Jesus who can fulfill our expectations, a savior of our own making, who has come to bring us comfort, prosperity, or health, to bless our family and neighborhood and nation. Yet Jesus did not enter Jerusalem as a conquering nationalist, riding a chariot. He came as a peace-bringing internationalist, 
seated humbly on a donkey. He came to fulfill the prophecy of Zechariah 9, proclaiming peace to the nations under his perfect universal rule from sea to sea. That is the message of the gospel, a message that is good for everyone, everywhere, always. It is not that our dreams and demands are too big for him. (laughs) It's that they are too small. Jesus challenges us today as he challenged people in his day to worship him for who he is, not for who we think he should be. Do not tell him to be about your business. Count it a privilege for you to be about his. For further reading, check out Zechariah 9, verses 9 through 17. Now bless us, O Lord. Bless us on this Sunday, Palm Sunday a day when we will acknowledge you as king. Help us, Father, to be mindful of what kind of king you are, to follow you, to hear your teachings as we study them in your word. Bless us as we worship later today, and may your name be lifted up. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Sunday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for being with me. I hope it was a blessing to you. Before I go, I want to remind everyone that First Congregational Church gathers for worship this morning at 10 a.m. We hope you can join us in person as we celebrate Palm Sunday and begin Holy Week together. If you can't join us in person, connect with us right here on Facebook. Either way, this is the day of the Lord. Let's worship him together. God bless you, my friends. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.